What is up YouTube? Game Triple Eight here, and I'm here with a little combo video of how I made a board um, where I've posted a picture from on Facebook. I've got some requests to show uh, how I got from this hand to the board that I ended up with, and truth be told, like the draw, everything that I drew was in the description even, so I didn't think that I would have been needed. Uh, to make this combo video, but I was still requested to explain it, so yeah, here I am. <laughs> uh, let's just go into it. Um, the things you have to know on beforehand, uh, the draw from Electromite was a harmonizing magi magician, and uh, two draws from Orchestrate Return uh, were One for One and Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. So uh, with those things in mind, I'm going into the combo and when I get to those draws, I will surge them from my deck. Um, I do explain this right here, so don't comment as down below, like, really. Um, stuff like that happens, so, yeah. Uh, first of all, Ravine. Ditching Darkworm to dump the Strudo. Now, before you're activating the Darkworm to special summon itself, already activate Time Gazer Magician in your Pendulum Scale. That's like really important. Um, just because of the fact that when, as soon as you have a monster on board, you can't scale it anymore, so yeah. Dark Worm, Special Summon, adding the Gate Zero. At this point, Normal Summon, make Electromite. Uh, Electromite's effect is going to trigger and I'm going to send Wisdom Mind Magician. Um, the reason I did that in the combo, uh, just to try it out, was I, I want to get a draw and with the Wisdom Eye I get an additional monster that I can return from Oath Dragon and so on and so on. And I, I didn't plan on drawing the, um, the Harmonizing Magician, but in this case I did. So Electromite's effect, popping this, getting back the Wisdom Eye. And at this point I actually drew the Harmonizing. I was happy, like, the, the opening hand that I had was, I, I think, an opening hand of Dark Worm and Ravine. Sure, it's good, but not if you open it twice alongside the one real brick of the deck. So, yeah. Uh, at this point, I drew the Harmonizing. I was a happy little, a happy little panda. I'm gonna go for Wisdom Eye Magician's effect. Setting the Oath in the scale. At this point, Oath's effect. Getting back the Wisdom Eye, you need it for uh, an additional monster. So, Pendulum Summoning. Uh, you're gonna do it like this. And the Wisdom Eye in the far right. Uh, Harmonizing's effect gonna trigger, gonna get the Janky Magician from the deck. Overlaying for Absolute. And at this point, it's still like the standard combo for Pendulum right now in, in the Orcus variant. So you're gonna go for Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, Absolute effect is going to trigger and you're going to special summon the Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon. Uh, at this point, link away the Unicorn and you're gonna go into the Orcus engine. So, Nightmare Mermaid. Uh, at this point, they also can't hand trap you because you have the Vortex, so it's actually kinda nice. Uh, you had one dead card still in your hand, which was the Dragon Ravine, so we are simply going to ditch it. And we're gonna get a Nightmare... An, an Orcus Nightmare, so yeah. Uh, before we're gonna go into Galatea, we're going to Synchro Summon, using the Harmonizing and the Wisdom Eye. And we're gonna go into Boral Load Savage Dragon. Its effect is going to activate, and we're going to get Nightmare Unicorn underneath it alongside three counters. So, we're having the die, three counters on the Borrowload Savage Dragon. At this point, it's all like Orcus themed. Uh, it's pretty easy to go for this. Uh, we're gonna go into Galatea. Using the Orcus Nightmares effect, I'm gonna put them here, the banished cards. It's just, just uh, visible in the video, so. I'm happy. <laughs> uh, and we're going to dump the Orcus Harp Horror. As soon as it's in the graveyard, use this effect. So you're, we're going to banish it once again. And we're going to special summon the Orcus Symbol Skeleton. 
Use these two to make summon sorceress. And at this point, using the Orcist symbol skeleton, so banishing it, to re-summon the Galatea, the Orcist automaton. Now, I am going to summon it in the rightmost zone, uh, simply because of the fact that I don't want to use the monster that I'm summoning from Summon Sorcerers in the Link Summon for Rusty, and I want to keep it on the field for a little while, and I want to summon my Rusty over here. So, that way I can keep this zone free for my for my Deco Talker when I switch uh, sites again. So, yeah. At this point, uh, Galatea's effect is going to put back the symbol skeleton into the deck and we're going to set the orchestrated return. Now, I still don't have the card. I still have to I still have to see my friend uh, who actually has one for me, but uh, for now I'm proxying an orchestrated Babel. I really don't care. Uh, this is an orchestrated return, so yeah. Summon sorceress effect and we're going to summon that world wand to the field. At this point, using the Dark Worm, alongside the Galatea, to make a Rusty. Rusty's effect is going to trigger right here, and we're going to dump the cloak, so we can set one of our Fog Blades. So that's already really fun to do. Uh, we already have one Fog Blade. Now at this point, use the cloak's effect, banishing it, and we're going to add Phantom Knight Silent Boots to our hand. Now at this point, um, I didn't want to... Uh, I, I wanted to zone free on my field for the Strudo because I want to uh, because I want the Strudo to come out as a level 4 which I can do with the boots. So um, at this point I actually activated the Orchestrate Return tributing the World Wand and I drew as I said into the 1 for 1 and Mythical Beastmaster Cerberus. Now, it does seem like a really good thing to actually draw into 1 for 1 and Master Cerberus, but it's just one of the many things that you can draw uh, to still extend your combo. Uh, just, just anything that gets a monster on board, and when you don't open bad, you have your normal summon maybe, or a chronograph in the scale, so stuff like that. At this point, I uh, special summoned the Silent Boots because I have a PK monster, and I used the the Strudo in the graveyard on the Silent Boots. So at this point, the Strudo is a level 4. Using Summon Sorceress with the Boots is going to get yourself into Underclock Taker. And we're gonna use the Boots' effect to add the second Fog Blade to our hand. At this point, activating 1 for 1, dumping the Master Cerberus into the graveyard and summoning DD Savant Kepler to our field. Kepler is going to add Dark Contract with the Gate, activating it and searching for DD, for DD Lamia. Now, the combo is getting really easy right now. We're going to link away the Kepler with the Underclock Taker and we're gonna get Deco Talker. Now, at this point, using your World Wand in the Graveyard, the Orcus one, uh, World Legacy, whatever, you can Special Summon Harp Horror to your field and you're going to overlay it with the Strudo. This is going to give you Evil Swarm Nightmare. And then one final thing to do, use Lamia's effect, tribute your dark contract to the gate, special summon it, and set the Fog Blade. So at this point, you have two monster negations in the Fog Blade, you have uh, two Omni negates with Voltex and Borrowload Savage Dragon, Two interruptions with Evil Swarm Nightmare and two interruptions with the Deco Talker. That's eight interruptions in total. This is how I made the field. Um, I loved it. It's an easy field and it's basically how this entire Orcus build is, has came to be, I guess. So yeah, um, that was it for the combo. I hope you guys liked it and I'm going to be back in the future with some more videos. Um, I am tweaking at the build right now. I'm trying to find a more consistent uh, way to keep more cards in your head while doing the combo so yeah definitely uh, keep track of that one so yeah um, KM888 out